Just did a show the other night as a warm up in a rice lip, you know, and people coming up to me after the show. Oh my God, you were so funny. And you smell so good, Febreze. I'm, no, it's, it's, it's a mess. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, dog, you was funny as hell. Thanks, bro. So when you gonna perform again, Fantasia? <laughs> Finesse, dog. Uh, well, that's what I, what I say. You said Fantasia, that's what you said. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, do your thing, fitness. Whatever, dude, whatever. <laughs> that's why I'm one of the few people who voted for, you know, Republicans the last couple of years in my country, because I felt like we needed some good, tough, racist laws in my country. Like black women under the age of 21 should not be allowed to name black children by themselves. <laughs> names like Laquaque and Alopecia, all that stuff got to stop. <laughs> and the younger the mama, the more jacked up the name be. I know what I'm talking about. My mama had me when she was 15, so I'm just happy to be alive today. <laughs> Child raising a child. Number one, we never got along. See, we in the same age group, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> one TV, she liked the Super Friends, I liked the Smurfs. I hated her on Saturday morning, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it was just tough, you know, she wasn't that smart, so, you know. I remember the hard days after school, I'd be sitting at the kitchen table doing my homework, and she'd be on the other side of the table doing her homework. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help her, she couldn't help me. We'd be sitting there all day and night struggling. <laughs> Neither one of us would go outside and play till we was finished. <laughs> Had to go to four high school proms in my life, two of hers, cause she couldn't find no babysitter, two of mine. <laughs> it was tough. Don't let a young mama go school shopping for you either, cause my mama still had her high school friend she was trying to impress. So she just straight lied to me at the mall. We can both wear this baby. You wanna get this? We can both wear it. I'm like, mama, we gonna spend all the money on that? I thought we were going shopping for me. No, baby, we can both get it. It's unisex. I mean, it's for boys and girls. Okay, get it. Purple, I like purple. <laughs> Come home from school the next day, all beat up. You lied to me, mama. What happened, baby? You lied to me. What happened? They said little boys not supposed to wear jeans that zip up in the back. Why you lying to me? <laughs> Teachers would get mad at me. Finesse, you're not doing your homework. Bring your mother up to the school. I want to meet your mother. I'm like, I'm sorry, Miss Green. My mama have her own homework problem. She don't have time to come up to this school. <laughs> Finesse, bring him up to the school. I said, okay. So I told my mom, and she rode her bike up to the school. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Green, sorry I'm late. I had drill team practice. I know my son in trouble. Just go ahead and tell me what he did. Well, Ms. Mitchell, I have been asking Finesse all week and he will not give me an answer. Finesse? Yes, ma'am. Who signed the Declaration of Independence? I don't know. <laughs> Finesse, who signed, just give me one name. Who signed the Declaration of Independence? I don't know. I'm gonna say, hold on, Ms. Green, let me ask him. He know, come here. Bang! Now, boy, if you sign the damn thing, tell her. <laughs> Let me see a signature. I know his signature. He probably did it. He be signing stuff at home that don't belong to him. Stop signing shit. <laughs> Go wait your ass on the bike. <laughs> tell him, man, it ain't easy. Not easy. How you go? What kind of job can you have when your name is Finesse? You can't have it. You can't, you can't be the president of IBM. Mr. Finesse, line one. <laughs> oh, you fired. I heard that. <laughs> Snickering after my name. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's not easy. You know, I, and I tried everything before comedy. I was, I was all excited. I was going to be a substitute teacher. I said, I'm going to start off as a substitute teacher. I'm going to teach the kids. I'm going to tell jokes at night. My first day, I mean, I had my little attache case, my little blazer, USA Today newspaper in the case. I was ready to teach. Walked in my room, and they playing loud music and crip walking. And <laughs> smoking weed and rolling dice. But then that's when I found out I was in the wrong room. I was in the teacher's lounge. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> 